hey you guys welcome to my channel welcome back if you're already part of my family this is going to be a pick a card in regards to the month of december for you we're going to um see what's in store for you for the month of december so i'm super excited to see what's um going on with you i have three piles for you guys to choose from pile one two and three once you have chosen your pile go to the timestamp in the description box and i'll meet you at your reading hi lovelies Ooh, there's a the hair let's see what's going on with you for the month of december this is going to be for the first group if you chose the first set of cards so oh okay so this is beautiful so the main energy um that's going to be supporting you for december is venus the planet venus um, you could have Libra or Taurus in your chart. Venus is all about love, giving and receiving love, finding value, and seeing the beauty in yourself, in life. This is very beautiful. And you are um, working with the spirit animal, the gazelle. I actually forgot that I pulled these cards. So let me go inside my little booklet here because I don't know all the top of my head what the gazelle energy is all about i'm pretty sure oh hold on you guys i'm pretty sure the gazelle has something to do with being like graceful but let's see this is an um like how do you call it like air animal or what is it called in here oh wait not air fire this element is fire for the gazelle so um you could um have fire in your chart aries leo sagittarius um so the gazelle spirit is all about heightened awareness and ability and um vulnerability as well so heightened awareness and ability and vulnerable so actually okay so it does it says the gazelle represents supreme grace i was right <laughs> with every move this awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance gazelle personalities are often hyper aware of their surroundings bordering on hyper vigilant and this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating no more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild when this card appears it's time to get back to the present moment sit down find your breath and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you let it nourish your gentle spirit that's so beautiful so when in balance this energy is graceful perceptive and artistic when out of balance this energy is um is prone to food allergies insomnia and has a racing mind to bring into balance yin yoga a cozy home and good food so that's nice i hope um you guys stuck around for that little reading book reading um so let's get into the rest of your reading my lovelies we have smoke a joint um or like take a chill pill if you guys are 420 friendly you definitely need to just like chill with your thoughts and just like smoke um if you don't smoke obviously you just need to relax maybe you drink wine maybe you just are the type to stargaze you just need to like relax and just be without your phone and just be with your thoughts and just take a chill this could also be a message like you get you're really hot-headed especially if you have fire in your chart or you're just hot-headed um uh and like when those moments occur you need to really like take a second and not react so quickly we have pizza here we actually have two like food items so 
and i like that so you could definitely smoke let me know in the comment section if you are 420 friendly let me know you chose pile number one i love that you could love coffee and you could love pizza this is giving me like munchy vibes like you just need a night where you're just watching movies home cozied up and you have like all the snacks that's what it's giving but pizza could be significant for you um this card in my deck is like super random it does like hold a personal meaning for me but all of these cards i wrote like intuitively from spirit they're not that random if you know what i mean they all do have intention behind it so pizza could have some significance for you maybe you guys are italian um maybe you guys just really like pizza maybe there's a significant time in your life where like pizza was a thing you had a date with someone and y'all had pizza something like that or maybe like making homemade pizza could be like a vibe and we have coffee this could be like a coffee date also similar to the smoke a joint or, or chill pill oracle it's like you're just needing to like enjoy the little moments like when a nice cup of coffee is such a like divine moment um just kind of enjoying the little things taking a deep breath taking a step back and enjoying just the small things like food and drinks um you could be going on a coffee date or you just kind of need to like enjoy your coffee today we have confidence here i love this so in december you're going to be stepping into your confidence um okay so i really like that confidence is definitely your key to success um leo energy with that and we have goddess of nature you reap what you sow your dream is coming to fruition so i really like that your dream is coming to fruition here in the month of december so keep sowing those good seeds that you want to reap you know keep giving your time money and effort to the right things and you can be sure that all of that goodness is going to manifest for you keep having a grateful heart being thankful with this venus energy because giving is receiving and gratitude is a key to your manifestations coming in and just reminders here you know this already we have the world um we have actually this is the universe i'm gonna hide this nudity um i'm gonna put a crystal on it in case youtube says something um so we have the world here which is nice leveling up we have the princess of wands reversed and the three of swords so what i'm seeing here is you could have um gone through a breakup here recently pile number one but this was actually a blessing this was a blessing in disguise because through this breakup you are learning how to be graceful you're learning how to really be more aware of the relationships that you have you're becoming more aware of yourself and you're putting more time and effort into what you want to create you're putting more time and effort into your dreams and bringing them into fruition um, but i am seeing i do feel like there's something on your mind um and i feel like it's like a breakup that it's kind of hindering you from moving forward so this december is really important that you're stepping into your confidence that you're healing that you're understanding that you're in a great place um everything that is is meant to be and um yeah i feel like in december you're not going to really be wanting to do anything look at this the ace of cups reversed this relationship that didn't work out it's because you failed to have self-love and so no relationship can ever sustain if you don't love yourself and the person that you were with they also had faults as well maybe they didn't love themselves they were you know susceptible to temptations okay um and so this is a time for you to focus on your craft and to really fill up your own cup and the person that you were with was not emotionally available and was not trustworthy they weren't loyal to you 
So now the universe is pushing you towards yourself so that you can perfect your craft so that you can heal and so that you can release any fears that you have or you can and so that you can also step into your confidence here because I feel like this person's actions really have affected you and you're thinking there's something wrong with you but what how people treat you has nothing to do with you that's a reflection of them but how you react that's your character so i feel like you're kind of in in the recent energies you have kind of been stuck kind of in, in a hamster wheel just kind of going through the motions not really having the energy to experience new things okay not really having the energy to focus on your dreams but you have such a solid foundation you've been through so much you have so much knowledge and december it's time for you to really apply your knowledge for you to really be about your business with the eight of pentacles it's a clockwork energy you're going to have to do something very repetitively you're going to have to be consistent and very disciplined with yourself and what you're wanting to create but you can be sure it is going to pay off without a doubt so i'm seeing in december you're going to be very busy but this is also a time for you to be healing you're also healing yourself so not only are you going to be busy creating the life of your dreams but you're also busy healing and nourishing yourself your mind your body and your soul so i am seeing you this is a very busy month for you um pile number one this is a month for you for setting boundaries for yourself setting boundaries for the relationships that you have in your life and really just enjoying the little things i am getting nine of pentacles energy which comes right after the eight of pentacles once you really start to become disciplined you're going to come and step more into yourself and be confident and comfortable with yourself and you're going to see how things are going to start to flow you know you're going to start to see your dream come to fruition you're going to start to see your reality be a reflection of how beautiful you are on the inside okay there is going to be a breakthrough here you are going to have like a renewed sense of direction you're going to have you're going to be inspired here in the month of december and it's because you're taking action on what you already know you're stepping into your confidence you're you're moving with gratitude and so in that way you're aligned with god and everything's going to work out for you all good things I do want to get an oracle for you, but let's see which one I want to get. Let's get you an archetype. Let's see what archetype you're working with. Let's put these down here. Okay, we have Apocalypse is coming out. That's crazy. And we also have the Offering that wanted to flip over, the Siren. Okay, Apocalypse is about the Veil of Deception being lifted. So this is a very intense energy. This is very earth shattering. Everything that you know, it's like it might not be that so being open and this is a restorative energy so it's like you're clearing away a lot of old stagnant outdated energy and creating new earth okay stepping into new timelines so yes transcending space and time here this is definitely a big month for you pile one so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you can get more messages from me let me know that um you chose this pile let me know that you're here in the comments like the video and have a beautiful month i'll see you guys next time keep working at it because you're going to be successful it takes work though right okay I love you guys. Bye. Hi, lovelies. If you guys chose the second card, this is going to be your reading for the month of December. 
so this is going to be your main energy supporting you this month we have house nine with spiritual growth okay so this month is all about you growing on the spiritual plane and you could have sagittarius in your chart you could also have leo and aries in your chart because your spirit animal is the tiger which is a part of the fire element so i'm going to read to you guys what the tiger energy is all about um i'm actually a tiger in uh chinese in the chinese um zodiac or whatever I don't know if you guys know about the Chinese like animals, but maybe you're a tiger in that. But the tiger energy is all about lunar force, ease in darkness, and feminine energy. Beautiful. So the tiger hunts at night, at one with the silence, fearing nothing. This card reminds us to take in the wild darkness to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits sensuality receptivity and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour and the tiger takes advantage of these boons spend some time in silence this evening drinking in the potent calm there is nothing to fear in the stillness except the awakening of your own power when in balance, this energy is passionate, strong, and sensual. When out of balance, this energy is overstimulated. To bring into balance, Tritaka, Tritaka, candle gazing. Okay, candle gazing. Get you some candles and uh, look at it. <laughs> or um, looking at fire. Um, okay, so beautiful energies to start with um pile two i like it let's get into the rest of your reading so we have the oracle yes a big fat yes for you this month so that's nice we have i attract what i want by being grateful for what i have and we have take it easy so you're needing to really relax this month <clears throat> we have creativity okay i'm getting um i'm getting you've been working like really hard or it's like you're really tired and so i'm um, putting your energy in a creative pursuit is going to be a healthy outlet for you and it's also going to um transmute some of that dense energy and we also have god of indulgence it's all right stop beating yourself up a little indulgence and balance is healthy so you guys are needing to have more fun okay you're needing to play hard work hard play hard okay we have the seven of cups reversed the star reversed knight of wands reversed and the nine of swords I feel like there's something here there's a passion of yours that it's like you're afraid to go towards this thing might like it might require you to take a risk whether that be a financial investment or like kind of stepping out of your comfort zone but this is a creative pursuit that I am seeing you will be successful at. I'm seeing that it is in your destiny to pursue this thing. And so in the month of December, you're going to be thinking about this more and more. And but right now, I'm like, I'm not seeing you take action on it. So this could definitely be a message for you to start to plan out this creative endeavor. Start to really you know learn more about whatever this is start to bring your dream into fruition here because i feel like now is the time we have the prince of pentacles reversed again it's like you're not it's like you're holding back on some sort of creation um it's like you're playing it safe 
and I'm seeing that you're it's already aligned for you on this spiritual plane okay so it's just about you bringing it into real life and if it's already materialized on the spiritual plane then it, that's going to be easier for you to bring this energy into the 3D I feel like you're holding on to an old version of yourself, okay? I feel like you're afraid of the dark, you're afraid of the unknown, but there's power there. I feel like there's a, a there's aspects of yourself that you've yet to experience and now is that time because you have been growing on a spiritual level, whether you realize it or not, and um, it's really time for you to shine. It's time for you to get to that next level because you've been doing the work. I love the two of pentacles. It's about having a balanced um, personal life and career. And I feel like it's time for you to have more fun. Like it's time for your life to get exciting. It's time for you to have success. It's time for you to get recognized for who you are. It's time for you to be the star. It's time for you to shine. We have the sun and the star here. It's time to, for you to express yourself clearly. And I feel like you've, you've been manifesting this. And now it's really time. And it's kind of like you're getting cold feet. Oh my gosh, I asked if they could tell me more about this creation and you got the three of pentacles, the king of pentacles. Are you kidding me? Whatever this is you're trying to create, it's like a new career path, new money, okay? A new business, a new job, okay? New, a new source of income for you, um, you know, creating wealth. You're trying to create wealth here and it's like you might not think you don't know you don't know how it's going to work but all you have to do is just seek and you shall find matthew 7 7 ask and you shall receive the universe is giving this to you seek and you shall find you have to go out there and put one foot in front of the other knock and the door will be open unto you i'm seeing people like i'm seeing the connections here the three of pentacles it's like law of attraction and the law of connection. The law of connect the law of attraction is, is about, you know, attracting what you want and the energy is here. All you have to do is seek it out. And the law of connection talks about being connected to the people, things, places that are gonna get you what you want. And I'm seeing those connections here with the three of pentacles. This is about you are the middleman between the spiritual realm and the material realm and that the three of pentacles is about all of that working together to build a solid foundation to build uh you know whatever it is that you're trying to create and with the king of pentacles it's going to be so successful your business whatever you're wanting to create and bring into this world this could be a very unique creation a very unique business a very unique idea but it is going to be successful it is there's but it like you're gonna have so many clients the connections that you're going to meet are are gonna like you can't even dream about this what the universe brings to you is always better than you can imagine but you have to believe in yourself you have to be confident in yourself and you have to just put in the work you can't just like do nothing all day you had to have to work towards your goals but the unit of the energy the universe is literally like in alignment with you you have to meet the universe halfway okay and it is going to be like clockwork you are going to have to be consistent with yourself and i'm not saying you're not going to run into um like maybe little speed bumps but mostly in regards to your own physical health it's going to be more 
How can you stay balanced between your personal life, your relationships, taking care of yourself, and building an empire? So I feel like your struggles are really going to be more internally. You um, having faith in yourself and um, being confident in your abilities because you are able. Um, but in regards to is your creation going to be successful? Is this business going to be successful? Yes, it is. And it's going to require you to do things in a different way. And I'm also seeing you're going to meet. Um, you're going to meet the love of your life in this new phase of your life. So, um, you know, like once this business starts to really take off, I am seeing you meet a soulmate. Okay, some of you guys are like already in a relationship and so I'm seeing that relationship end and you're going to meet someone else. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you. For those of you that are in a relationship right now, I know obviously that's kind of hard to hear, but that is what I'm seeing. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you guys in December. I do hope that that resonated with you. Um, energies I have here, Pisces, strong Pisces, Leo, Cancer, okay. Um, strong earth energy as well, Aquarius. Um, what, where are we at the time? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there for you guys. I, I don't know if I should pull an archetype or not. Let me know if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video. Let me know you guys chose pile two. We have the siren coming out and the eternal child. In regards to love, I feel like your true, like your true, there's a soulmate here. I'm getting like a soulmate, like your soulmate is calling you. And that's why for those of you um, that are in a relationship, it's like the, there's an expiration date on that relationship and it has passed. Um, so yeah relationships some of them are you know for a time and a season in our life and i do believe we do have that one person that we're going to spend the majority of our lives with so um that's what i was getting with that energy um yeah if it's your calling it's going to keep calling you so that's what i'm getting with that soulmate energy all right bye you guys make sure to like the video and subscribe i'll see you guys next time Hello my darlings, if you guys chose the third card, this is your reading for December. Let's see, the overall energy for you is Mercury. Mercury does go into retrograde at the end of the month I believe, so we kind of start that shadow period soon. Um, but Mercury energy is all about thinking, learning, networking, and communication. So this is the month of all of that for you. All right. The spirit animal you're working with is the elephant. Wow, very powerful energy. I'm getting you have a strong power presence and I'm getting like um, business. So if you've been uh, um, like waiting for a check to come through if you've been waiting on some type of business deal i'm getting good business okay you making good deals you getting a nice check all right so let's read what the elephant energy is all about you could have fire in your chart because the elephant is um governing the fire element so elephant energy is unstoppable auspicious and wise 
The elephant is arguably the most auspicious figure in the deck. Like Ganesh, the elephant represents immense wisdom as well as good fortune. It is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles, so if this card appears when you feel stuck, rest assured the path will soon become clear. To add to the mystery, the elephant is also known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. Trust this gentle, noble creature. If it... Um, it illuminates the way with the light of self-knowledge. When this energy is in balance, it's one-pointed focus, generous and loving. When out of balance, it's, it misunderstands fate to bring into balance trust. Okay, so I do feel like you're going to be getting the answers you need with that energy, with Mercury and the elephant energy. I do feel like you're going to be at the right place, at the right time, understanding life a little bit more and that mercury retrograde actually energy might actually be helping you um so let's get into it you guys actually picked a lot of oracle so we have cold ghost so okay so that would kind of make sense um someone may have ghosted you they their energy just completely changed and went they went cold on you and so this is actually meant to be even though it feels uncomfortable it feels you know that's not nice for people to do that but with that elephant energy it's an obstacle that you're need to, needing to find the silver lining about it and i feel like you're going to start to understand things more in december we do have blurred lines so again yeah feeling kind of confused about this ghosting situation we have love yourself the highest frequency you actually got two cards about self-love so i feel like that's very interesting no coincidence there the month of december is really all about you attuning in to the highest frequency which is self-love and that is really uncomfortable to hear when you yearn for someone to love you but that's exactly why this is all happening because you're needing to um love yourself and if you can't do that then you're never going to have a healthy sustainable relationship we have healing look at that okay so the synchronicities are on point here candle flame burn this hour bring to me your healing power this is a big month for you pile three for you healing and i feel like you're gonna be you're gonna heal this month and next year is gonna be such a beautiful year you're gonna really have done <clears throat> a revamp of yourself you're reinventing yourself you're healing you're stepping into your truest power and this is kind of like the final stretch for you you need to get some candles really like like fall in love with yourself this is what this month is about whatever you want you're wanting from someone else you need to start doing that for yourself <clears throat> excuse me we have goddess of the unknown a new chapter of your life is around the corner remove fear and embrace the unknown okay so let's get into the tarot um i'm not sure three of wands reversed knight of swords i love how this emperor is right in the middle five of cups and the six of pentacles so big daddy emperor holding down this reading aries energy also cancer energy okay um i like this i like this this emperor is really holding it down here the emperor is all about everything the emperor is everything the emperor is so confident the emperor has everything do you know that so in december this is about you realizing that you have everything that you need and there's even more blessings on the way to you and just being good where you're at being good where you're at understanding that if anything isn't in your life it's not meant to okay um some of you may be healing also from like a loss someone who passed away in your life so you know um yeah some of you guys are actually um mourning a loss 
so I am sorry for your loss but it's like you understand that cycle of life um, yeah and then in regards to whoever had like ghosted you um i feel like you are coming into clarity and oneness with why that happened or why that's actually bothering you um I feel like in the month of December, you're going to start to really put your energy in the right place. You're going to start to move away from things that are draining your energy and start to focus on the people that do value you, that do see you. I feel like you're going to start to meet new friends here in the month of December. Um... For some of you guys, you are actually going to like fall so much in love with yourself that you're actually going to not even be interested in love anymore. You're only going to be interested in like the the things that like people can give you. Um, if that makes sense, like you're going to go from someone who was like a lover girl, lover boy. To someone who I don't want to say a hoe, but it's like you're gonna really like know how to play the game. Um, and I'm not I, I'm not getting a bad energy about that. I feel like you know you're just on your journey of love. Okay, I do feel like you're going to meet someone though. I do feel like you're going to meet someone though that does kind of want to lock things down on a, on a deeper level. Um, this person could have earth in their chart. Um, but obviously, yes, you might meet this person in December for sure. But I don't think that's going to play out until like the future. Um... So, yeah, this person might, yeah, I feel like there's going to be someone here that looks like, it's like this energy of you're not wanting to lock anything down and there's a good, I see someone in particular wanting to cuff you, wanting to like take you off the market, but you're very much comfortable like being single, I feel like, okay. Um, so that's what's coming through with that. And yeah, I feel like you're really bossing up in the month of December. You're focusing on your money and you're not really, it's like, I feel like you're just going to be like in a dating energy. You're not so worried about love because it's like, you're so in love with yourself. And I feel like that's so beautiful from going from someone who was a little codependent from going um, from going from someone who was like waiting, stuck on on one person to going to someone who's completely in love with themselves, even rejecting people because in the future, like in the month of December, like once you get in that energy of being a boss, of, you know, being confident in, your, in yourself, your money's looking good, you're looking good, you're taking care of yourself, you don't care about anything or anyone, you know, a very just like healthy untouched unattached energy you're like you're going to be so attractive so many people are going to be attracted to you you're going to have so many options and you're like not even going to want any any of them like in that way you know it's like cool you can take me on a little day you can buy me a little this we can do a little this but it's not you're not locking in with anybody um sir protecting your energy Becoming your best self, really, that's what I'm seeing. Let's get an archetype for you, pile three. Let me know that you guys um, chose this pile. Um, we have Gnosis wanting to show its face, like knowing 
knowing all it's like an all-knowing energy pisces energy also with this mercury energy gemini and virgo i forgot to read the signs that came out on that on this deck tell me about pile three what archetype is pile three working with all right, I'm gonna have to pick from the middle. We have the king, yeah. Yup, 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 this is you bossing up, becoming a king. Even if you are a feminine energy, you're stepping into your masculine energy. That's how powerful you are. That's how powerful you are. Okay, that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and comment down below. See you guys next time, bye.